All right, so uh, I want to talk about the chain rule. The chain rule is a, is a really big rule in calculus. I mean, if, if, if you don't understand the chain rule, you're going to struggle from this point forward in a calculus class because it comes up pretty much in every homework set. It comes up again later on in calculus. It comes up in a lot of applications. So it's really, really a handy rule to know. So what is the chain rule? The chain rule is when you have an outer function and an inner function, or if you remember from your algebra class, when you have f of g of x, what's called a function composition. And the way I picture this, the way I picture this is I picture the derivative of f of u. Okay? So literally, we're just going to replace that with the letter u, the derivative of f of u. And that's going to equal f prime of u times u prime, okay? What we like to refer to is the outer derivative times the inner derivative, okay? That's the way I view this. So let's remember that, okay? It's the derivative of the original function times u prime. Now, the way this works is you have got to be able to substitute this function with the letter u. So let me give you a few chain rule problems and let me walk you through how they work. Okay, so the simplest um, chain rule problem that I know and one that you've got to have the chain rule for is find the derivative of x squared plus 7x to the 12th. Okay, find the derivative of x squared plus 7x to the 12th. Okay, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this problem and I'm going to basically say, no, that's too hard. I'm not going to do it. Here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to rewrite this as the derivative of u to the 12th. Okay. So what I did was I took this piece here and called it u, okay? And you can do that as long as after you find the derivative of u to the 12th, you add in this inner derivative, this u prime, okay? So here goes. If I ask you to find the derivative of this, you'd use the polynomial rule, right? So it'd be 12 times 1, and then you'd subtract 1 from the exponent. So it would be 12u to the 11th. And then times u prime. Well, if u is x squared plus 7x, u prime is going to be 2x plus 7. We're just finding the derivative of u. So this will be times 2x plus 7. Now... The last thing, before you call this done, is you can't leave a U in your final answer. So you have to go back and put this where you substituted U. Okay? So we get 12x squared plus 7x to the 11th times 2x plus 7. Okay? And some teachers will let you leave it like this. They'll say this is fine. Some people will make you take this guy and this guy and multiply them together. Okay? And so if they do that, right, 12 times 2 would be 24x. And then 12 times 7 would be 84. And then x squared plus 7x to the 11th. Okay? So what is the purpose of the chain rule. The purpose of the chain rule is to keep me from expanding this 12 times, right? Because I really don't want to multiply x squared plus 7x 12 times. So this allows me to find the derivative without expanding that. That is one of the big purposes of the chain rule. So let me try another one for you, okay? Here we go. Let's take um, the derivative. So find the derivative of the square root of 4x cubed minus 11x. Okay? Now, I look at that and my brain kind of seizes up. I say, I'm not really sure what to do with that. 
But if you've watched my previous videos from calculus, one of the derivatives that I tell you you've got to memorize in a calculus class is the derivative of the square root of x. Okay? Derivative of the square root of x. And the derivative of the square root of x, right, if I bring this over to the center of the frame here, the derivative of the square root of x is 1 over 2 root x. Okay? So, when I look at this, I have the square root of a function. Anytime I've got something like that, I can replace this with the letter u. So, this problem becomes... Find the derivative of the square root of u. Find the derivative of the square root of u. Okay, well, if the square root of x has a derivative of 1 over 2 root x, the square root of u has a derivative of 1 over 2 root u. Now, we're not done because... When you do this U substitution, you have got to multiply by U prime. So, I'm just going to write times U prime. Cool. Well, what is 1 over 2 root U? It's 1 over 2 root, and I copy all of that. 4X cubed minus 11X, right? times u prime. Well, if u is 4x cubed minus 11x, what is u prime? Well, 3 times 4 makes 12. Reduce it by 1, right? And then 1 times negative 11 is just negative 11. x to the 0, okay? That's u prime. So it's going to go right here, 12 x squared minus 11. And then your last step is to put all this together as one fraction, and that's your answer. Well, 1 times that is going to give us 12x squared minus 11 over 2 root 4x cubed minus 11x. Okay? And that is a very good example of a chain rule problem. Okay? So square root of x. Pretty much every new derivative rule you learn, we throw a chain rule problem in there, okay? So I'm kind of under the assumption with this video that you know the polynomial rule and you know the square root of x is 1 over... The derivative of the square root of x is 1 over 2 root x, okay? As we get into new rules for sine, for so, cosine, for tangent, all these different derivative rules, the chain rule will come up again and again and again, okay? Um... So that is how you use the chain rule. So I'm going to do um, some other videos with some other derivative rules. And you'll see this chain rule come up again and again and again and again and again. Okay? Um, and do realize that, that the chain rule is always going to be where you can replace something really ugly with the letter U. Okay? Um, but they're not being multiplied. They're not being divided. Right? Do you notice this is not being multiplied it's not being divided, right? This guy's not being multiplied. It's not being divided, okay? If it's being multiplied or divided, you use the product rule or the quotient rule, respectively. This is when you have a quantity to a power, when you have a square root of a quantity, okay? If you know the derivative rule for sine of x, right? I could give you a simple example of, right, d dx sine of x squared plus 3x minus 12. Okay? Be a simple example of this. Okay? How would you find this? You would have to turn this into what? The derivative of sine of u. Okay? And if you know the derivative of sine... That would give you the outer derivative, and then the inner derivative would be times u prime, right? And then, right, if this is u, x squared plus 3x minus 12, right, u prime would be 2x plus 3, OK? 
Okay? So u prime would be 2x plus 3. So anyway, anytime you use the chain rule, you're going to have that outer derivative times that inner derivative, right? So if you remember the sine of x, right? The sine of x... is going to be, by the way, I'm going to show you how I remember these, okay? Um, so I'm going to draw sine of x, sine of x, la, 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 Okay, that's sine of x, okay? And I'm going to draw cosine of x. Okay? So it's going to go here, 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 and here. Something like that. So it's going to go la, 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 and that's cosine x. Okay? How do you remember these derivatives? Remember the derivative of any function. The derivative of any function is the slope at that instant. Okay? So at this instant, this graph has a positive slope. At this instant, this graph has a slope of... Zero. From here to here, this graph has a negative slope. And then from here to here, it has a positive slope. It's going uphill. The derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Now, back to our problem. In this situation, the derivative of sine of u is going to be what? Cosine of u times u prime. Okay? And here's the thing, guys. The only thing, if you've never seen the derivative of a trig function, the only thing new is the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Everything else is the chain rule here. Okay? So the chain rule is a majority of this problem. So the derivative of sine u is cosine u times u prime. Well, what is cosine u? Well, there's u. So it's going to be what? Cosine of x squared plus 3x minus 12, x squared plus 3x minus 12, times u prime, which is 2x plus 3. Okay? And I write it like this so that you know you're taking the cosine of this piece, and this is multiplicative. You're not taking the cosine of this piece. Okay? So... Much more work with the chain rule than it is with the derivative of sine. But anyway, if you ever want to know how to remember your trig derivatives, draw them. Okay, so I think the derivative of sine x is cosine x. Yes, it is. Or, or I think it's negative cosine x. No, that doesn't work. Okay, so anyway, um, I hope that helps someone. Uh, the chain rule is a big, big deal. In some of my other videos, uh, you'll see it come up again and again and again. I'm working on some calculus videos um, and, and you'll see that chain rule come up again and again and again because it is just so instrumental for us because we have something that is way too complicated for our basic rules, and so we pull this U substitution. This is way too complicated for our rule for the derivative of sine. So what do we do? We just put a U. What's the derivative of sine U? Cosine U. Well, because we substituted that, we have to say times U prime. Okay? And then boom, there's our answer. So it's really slick, really easy little trick. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. If you have a video that you want me to make, leave it in the comments and I'll try to make it. I hope it helps.